this is another program that I've written for the MuBox, and it makes use of a fun little uh, mathematical problem called the Collette's Conjecture. And basically what that is, is you take any number and you apply a set of rules to it. And those rules are, if the number is even, then divide it by 2. Or, if it's odd, then you multiply it by 3 and then add 1. And then you apply the same set of rules to the result, and you keep on going and going, and eventually you'll always hit the number 1. Now, this problem has yet to be formally proven, so for any of you aspiring mathematicians out there, uh, this might be a good, albeit very tough, problem to tackle. But, I won't be doing any uh, proofs here, instead I'm just going to make use of the uh, conjecture. So, what the program does is it first asks you to select a number, and I do that by rotating the pot here, and it sends an analog value to the, uh, to the microcontroller. Now, I can't tell you what number this is because I have absolutely no idea, but uh, uh, I, I might add a better way to indicate a number, perhaps in binary, but this is okay for now. So, once I've selected a number, then I press this button to start. And what will happen is the program will cycle through the uh, call out sequence until it hits uh, the number 1. So for any even numbers that it accounts, it will just play a note on a certain scale. Now if it encounters an odd, uh, odd number, then it will change the chord progression and the subsequent even numbers uh, that come after that will play the notes in that particular scale. And if it encounters another odd note, then again it will change the chord progression. Now, I think I, uh, I might have done something funny. I, I might have not uh, assigned the proper notes in each chord progression because uh, it doesn't sound quite right. But uh, for demonstration purposes, I think this will do just fine. So I'll just select the number here and we'll have it go. Uh, pick another number. Um, the other cool thing about this is that I've designed it so that you can change instruments and you can do that by pressing this button. So I'll just show you. So I don't remember what uh, instruments exactly I put on there, and uh, there's also another, there's a little problem with uh, the changing instrument function. Um, this is interrupt driven, and I did put a resistor and capacitor network to try to quell down some of the debounce that happens in switches, but it's not 100% perfect. So in my next revision, I think I'll try uh, using a Schmidt trigger instead. Anyways, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.